The topic of water quality sure has received a lot of attention here in Wyoming lately, and for good reason. Water is the lifeblood of Wyoming and the West. There are a number of water quality considerations. For example, water quality in streams can be reduced by too much soil, salt, bacteria, chemicals, or heat. In other words, water that is too muddy, too warm, too salty, or that contain too many bacteria from the digestive tract of warm-blooded mammals. Too much of any of these can impair water quality and the degradation can lead to many different problems. There are several reasons for setting water quality standards. Perhaps the most important is public health, but there are other good reasons for setting standards and there's no doubt that high quality water is desirable. For example, aquatic invertebrates, that is little insects that live in water, are excellent indicators of water quality. Whether it's warm or cold, salty, muddy, but most of our standards rely on physical measurements or chemical tests to determine water quality. Policymakers and natural resource specialists are currently working on refining water quality standards to encompass what we know and what we're learning about water quality to meet the needs of Wyoming today. From the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service, I'm Eric Peterson.